In this video, we're going to be going over one of the most major changes to the new bulk file format, which is the operations column. We're going to be talking through why it's even there, what it does, and the formatting you need to use when making changes to a bulk file, again, using the new format. What is a bulk file? A bulk file is basically your entire ad account inside of a spreadsheet. And now it is in fact your entire ad account inside of a spreadsheet because you now can make changes to sponsored brands, ASIN targeting and categories, as well as sponsored display ads. Those two options were previously unavailable inside of the old formatting. There's a whole host of additional updates we have that are phenomenal, but I find the one that's tripping up most people is this new operations column because this is required to make any changes inside of the new bulk file formatting and as with everything in bulk files formatting is key if you do not format something correctly your bulk file upload will not be processed so it's really really important to get your formatting correct the new operations column is a requirement for making any changes with um, a downloaded bulk file and so it's one thing that i wanted to cover first as i continuously put out more content on the new formatting how you can use it and where everything is cool so as promised, let's go over why this is even here. <laughs> the operations column allows us to significantly cut down on the processing power needed to make changes in very large accounts. And while processing may not bother you all that much because Amazon can pay for the processing, what should bother you is the time to make changes. With this new operation column, it significantly streamlines the processing time to be able to effectively make changes in your account. So previously what would happen, if you downloaded a full bulk file, you made a couple changes here and there, and then you just re-uploaded the file, that would be effective, however, it would would not be very streamlined. Amazon would have to basically scan your entire file, cross-reference that with what was currently in your ad account, and then determine where changes need to be made. With this new operations column and the new format, we need to tell Amazon, hey, this is where we would like to make the change. So the benefit to that is Amazon no longer has to scan the entire file. So if you have a ginormous account and you only make a couple changes, it's only going to go through and cross check those couple line items and make the changes there. So what we used to do previously um, is oftentimes for those of us who recognize that there was a significant amount of processing power in large accounts, we may create a brand new clean spreadsheet and then only have the line items we would like changes on in that spreadsheet. So then Amazon is only cross referencing those specific rows. That was effective and I, to be perfectly frank, I still might use that method only for my benefit because I like having a solid you know very clean reference of what changes I've made but again that's personal preference now we don't have to worry with large accounts Amazon's not gonna have to scan every single bid on your you know thousand <laughs> keywords or so to identify where you made a bid change but of course it is now incumbent upon us to signify where we would like changes made. So let me hop into the sponsored product campaigns tab and let's go over a very common thing that you might do. So what you might do is you might be going down into your bid column and identify up oh, this $2.63. This is not something I want here. I meant to put a dollar bid. And what we would have done in this case is we might have changed it and we could have just uploaded this file and Amazon would have scanned it for us and just kind of determined, you know, what was um, a what was changed. Now, again, we need to specify to Amazon what changes we would like to make on this specific row. So there are three options that you can put in the operations column. Two of them are probably gonna be the most important. One of them you may or may not use all that often. The first one and the one that you'll probably be using the most when you look at downloaded files is going to be this update. 
operation. So update basically says if there is something that is currently contained within the ad console that I would like to make a change on, for instance, a bid change, we would have to put update on that specific row. And then in that case, Amazon is going to scan this row, scan this item and say, all right, you know, the bid was previously $2 and then it is, you know, now a dollar. So I need to, you know, those changes would populate inside of the ad console. Notice how I put update here though. Um, this would not correctly process the change that I would prefer to create because if you were paying attention, I made the change on this row right here. Um, and so I would want to make sure that I specified update again on only whatever specific row I am making the updates to. You don't wanna just put update on everything or scanning on everything because what it's gonna do is gonna cross check and then you're gonna get errors because it says like, hey, you didn't actually change anything. You only want to use the column to again, specify where you would like this particular change to occur. Um, so that's how you use that. And again, this is because of processing power. So if you put update on everything, uh, Amazon's gonna still scan everything. So you don't actually get the benefit that the operations column gives us when we're uploading large files. All right, so I said there was three, we went over the update. Now we're going to go over create. So create is going to do exactly that. It's going to create a specific item. So think of it again, update is if something is currently inside of your ad console that you need to make a change to update or the create option is going to say, Hey, this is not currently in my console. It's not in my ads. I would like to make this thing up here in my ads. And if that is what you are going after, then in this operations column, you are going to specify create. Like, hey, I need to make this line item. I need to add this keyword. I need to add this product into my ads. Um, that is what you will use this operation for. And then the very last one, which is, um, you may or may not use all that much. It really comes down to personal preference, um, is going to be archive. Um, so archive is one of the options. So if you need to archive a campaign, if you need to archive an ad group, you would use the um, operation archive inside of the operations column to specify that particular change. Um, the one that, again, most likely you're going to be using the most if you're using downloaded files um, is going to be the update option. So if you're doing a lot of bid changes, if you need to change the status of something, so if you have it enabled and you need to pause it, you would use update. Again, think of it as anything that is con currently contained within your ad console that you need to make some sort of change to. You're going to be using update. If something is not currently contained within the ad console and you need it to be contained within your ad console, then you would use create. And then if for whatever reason you decided you need to archive some things, then the operation archive is going to be what you need to choose to make sure you use the appropriate operation for whatever changes it is that you would like to make. And then you need to make sure that any of the rows that contain those specific changes have the appropriate operation associated with them again so amazon can process whatever changes you would like to have and those changes can take place inside the ad console without errors hopefully you understand this operations column now um, this operations column appears in every single tab so sponsored brand sponsored display sp portfolios any changes you want to make with a bulk file now have to have a specific operation associated with them so again, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. If you like content on bulk files, um, make sure to like and subscribe because I'm going to be putting out a lot of these. If you have any specific questions that pertain to bulk files, um, make sure you leave them in the comments because I'm going to be putting out a lot more content on the new formatting. And if there is a specific question that people need a walkthrough on, um, I want to make sure I bump that to the top of my list. So as always, I hope that was helpful and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.